Hi, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a midnight update now on now Hurricane Debbie as it's moving off towards the north, maybe the north northeast, at about 12 miles now. Let me go ahead and switch it on over here, and you can see the graphic. That's uh, the very latest advisory uh, that we now have from the Hurricane Center. It came down at about 10:55 uh, as we were getting out of the CW on into West 2 News. So we think we're going to have landfall right around 8, maybe 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, today, a little bit later today, about eight or nine hours from now, think about it, if you're doing uh, 100 miles out and you're 12 miles, it's about eight, nine hours right there. So that uh, seems pretty pretty good, pretty spot on. Then it slows down along the, uh, uh, the uh, southeast coast, maybe near the Georgia-South Carolina border, and that could lead to some unfortunate, significant flooding up there in the historic Savannah and uh, downstate of South Carolina. So we'll be uh, monitoring that uh, for the get-go here in things kind of move on out. Speaking of which, the models here uh, tonight, some of them doing those loop-de-loops. They're back into the picture. Others are just kind of taking on off and going to the north and the east. So we'll continue to watch the trends overnight tonight. Just got to get it past us here, and we'll more than likely be in, uh, in better shape. So, all right, so here's Hurricane Debbie. Here's what you need to know with the 11 o'clock advisory. Lake County is now in a tropical storm warning. Not a watch, but a tropical storm warning there. Uh, Tallahassee is going to be pretty wet, uh, especially in the morning. A little bit breezy, too. You get your, your bet there, Betsy. Uh, and then uh, Jojo Hernandez is back in the house. So there's that. Let's take a look now at the uh, forecast winds. Greatest winds are going to be up towards Marion County, Sumter County, uh, Lake County. You're going to be on the fringe there of the uh, of the red. This is, again, Hurricane Debbie there, 30 to 45 miles an hour uh, right there along the uh, the I-4 quarter. So the best chance for power outages is going to be uh, up uh, up there towards uh, Marion uh, County. And uh, one of the things that we're going to have to watch there is the possibility uh, for some power outages. So we'll, we'll continue to watch that uh, there overnight tonight. Tornado watch does remain in effect now uh, for all but Brevard County. Brevard was initially in it, uh, but now is uh, not in it. Um, uh, thinking there is that maybe the, the track is just far enough west and they'd be okay. But I got to tell you, they had a tornado warning tonight and it hit a, an RV park and it flipped over uh, five RVs. So, um, again, just something that, uh, that we will continue to watch uh, and monitor overnight tonight to see how these bands play on out. All right, a couple cams here. Let's do that. JoJo, uh, Volusia, we're going to get to all the county breakdowns here. Giselia in a second. Uh, Georgetown, Florida is in the house. Lionel, uh, good to have you there, Mr. Perez. Uh, Lake County, let's take a look at the uh, uh, Lake Eola, rather, downtown. Cool looking tropical sky. Dry for now, but that's going to change overnight tonight. You can see the clouds moving uh, fairly quickly there in advance and out ahead of our uh, uh, hurricane. Let's take a look at New Smyrna Beach. A little bit of rain on the lens there. Tavares, rain is working right back in for you. Uh, Ocala, Ocala is, is going to get wet. Now, they are wet, and they're going to continue to stay wet. Tara Lynn's in the house. Uh, Brian Keller. Negra Rojas. Uh, Negra, good to have you there. Here's a look now at Melbourne. Uh, over at the airport, pretty dark. Uh, over towards uh, Brevard County. Not too bad for, for the time being. Rain going down right now uh, over at Daytona Beach. Uh, OIA. If you got airport, if you're flying to the airport tomorrow morning, East Orlando Avalon Park is in the house. Tiffany, Sumter County, you're under uh, uh, a tropical storm warning. Amber from Webster's in the house, you're under a tropical storm warning. Theodore Johnson, uh, Central, oh, there you go, you know. Uh, St. Pete along the coast, look at that surf. That's a bit bumpy there, for sure. A lot of white caps there, you don't typically see that in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, yeah, look at uh, that. But you're seeing that tonight there, and we'll show you the surf here in just a second. All right. Water vapor challenge. Got to do this. Um, celebrations in the house. Leesburg, Naples, everybody's in the house. So a nice little deepening of the storms around the, <clears throat> the core as this is building up to the north, northeast. Uh, there was some drier air in there earlier. Now it looks like the storms are starting to take back over there. You can see it filling on in around that center. Look at that 63 mile at that buoy at the mouth of the Tampa Bay, just to the northwest of our storm. You can see the winds there pulsing up to 60 miles an hour. Let me show you the uh, uh, the satellite radar. There's our hurricane 
again going north northeast now uh, and still moving at 12 miles an hour the longer we can keep this moving at that pace hopefully the better off we will all be now because this storm is developing and developing pretty quickly um, here in the last half hour with the storms building around the center there uh, you can see the wave action I'm going to clear this and redo this again I think those might be just a little bit off let's do this there's 10 there's 12 there's 13 there's 12 wraps around so that surge is coming up now Tavares is in the house Lutz is going to get some rain for sure Palm Coast uh, Vivian we've got some rain coming your way I'm going to break all of that down just uh, give me a, a second there so there's your wave action potential storm surge here uh, you can see look at Cedar Key uh, up towards uh, Chiefland uh, back towards uh, just east of the Big Bend anywhere from 6 to 10 maybe as much as 10 feet of storm surge we'll watch that there's the live radar uh, Miss Georgia Sue from Georgia's in the house uh, um, uh, oh, Lauren Wisdom from Winter Springs, uh, a late night entry. Good to have you there, Lauren. Uh, you can see there was a little bit of dry air on the western side. The eye kind of wobbled there a little bit. Now it's back on its north northeast course, so we'll continue to monitor that. Uh, we take a look now at the latest radar. Actually, let me do this. Let me, I, want to, I want to take a look at the, the uh, storm relative velocity product here, real quick, and let's see if we see any rotation of any storms we do not that's good let me do this there's the SRV there's the I the I now is almost almost due west of Ocala so there 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 we go and and Danilin. so love seeing that there's the I right there you can see it it is moving we want it to keep moving uh, the, the more it moves to the north Hopefully, the better off we're all going to be here in Central Florida. Brunswick, Georgia. Candy. Candy uh, Coker's in the house. Candy, good to have you there. Kristen, more rain is in there in the forecast. Tony, uh, uh, the Barry's in the house. Orlando, Carol, Presido. Uh, Ormond Beach. Got everybody. I love it. I love when you give your towns like that. It's kind of cool. So the rain is building back towards the I 4 corridor. Um, it had given it a break there for a little bit, but now it's trying to work back towards the east. Uh, there's a look at Ocala. We've got some good rain here. And there was and is a brand new flood watch. Flood advisory, I should say. There it is. Marion County. Uh, that is Fellowship. That is Ocala. That is Denellen. Uh, you guys are in that, uh, that flood advisory until 2.30 this morning. Sanford, Denellen, going to get you all. Denellen, Denellen's had a lot of rain. In fact, I want to do something here. There's their, that's the current rain rate. Look at that big push of heavy rain there southeast of Denella. Let's take a look at how much rain has fallen. Uh, this is the last six hours. Let's get over towards Denella and Rutland. Look at that, 2.3, 2.5. That's in the last six hours. So there we go. All right, let's go to the radar. Let's build it on into Winter, Winter Park, Longwood. Rain is trying to build back our way, folks. Hang in there. It's going to be heavy at times. Uh, and for the morning commute, that is not going to be a pretty commute. Uh, off to the south and west, multiple flood advisories now from Tampa down towards Venice. Uh, they've had a good amount of rain uh, there as well. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to show here was the local storm reports. Oakland with a bit of big, Oakland on the south side of the Lake Apopka there. Look at all these wind reports. And then we got flooding along the west side. Funnel cloud there near, near Fort Meade in Bartow earlier today. Uh, up to the north, another tornado reported south of Lake City. And then back towards Cocoa, we had some strong damaging straight line winds with a squall that came through earlier today. Now as flood as, the, as far as the flood uh, watches are concerned, Leesburg, Jay Lynn is in the house. Good to have you there, Jennifer. Colonial Drive. Uh, Lori, there's an, a, another storm that does have the chance to develop. But right now, it does not look like it is headed our way. However, we will continue to monitor. Alabama's in the house. Vivian, heavy rain in Inverness. Absolutely. So the flood watch is in effect through uh, Tuesday uh, p.m. And then we take a look at the flood advisories. We have multiple flood advisories now, flood warnings, I should say. Uh, for the western side of the of the peninsula where they've had over 10 inches of rain. It's still coming down. At last check, Sumter County leading the way. 
in, in power outages with 1,965 folks without power. Merritt Island's in the house. Gainesville's in the house. Daytona Beach is in the house. Brando, good to have you. Mm. Let me give you a look in. It's just a couple rainfall totals, and I'll start to get into the... Uh, of the models here and then kind of time out the rain. There's Ocala, the villages, over three inches of rain. Uh, heading to list number two, Cape Canaveral, St. Cloud, the land, doing very, very well in the rainfall department. Uh, Brittany Johnson, uh, Eddie, man, if he's going by fast here tonight, but I do appreciate you all popping in. There's the next 12 hours. Again, we have, oh, we uh, that switched on over there. Uh, so 7 p.m. in the evening is going to be an impact icon, but uh, three, four, and five. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. Don't worry about it. So we're, we're worried about it in the morning. Thanks, Dokan. Okay. Appreciate that. Watching from Deltona. Not too bad. It's going to get, I think you're going to have your more active weather, Stephanie, by the way, uh, in the morning tomorrow. Just FYI. Uh, you bet, Jules, Lori Crozier, Jennifer Crook. All right, so overnight, tornado watch, heavy spans west, but adjusting eastward. Towards daybreak, right over I-4, we're monitoring that tornado risk through 6 a.m. And those strong winds by the afternoon. We'll have some bands on the far south side of the storm. We'll have some squally weather, and we'll have a few strong storms. But uh, I don't think we're going to be dealing with tornadoes by late afternoon. We are here in Ocala, says Cindy. Tracy's in Dinellon. Thomasville, Georgia's in the house. Palm Bay. Uh, Adolph Purnell Jr. is in the house. All right, rainfall. Here we go. We got two to five, one to three, and one to two on top of what you've had already. So if, let's do it a different way. Let's give you the uh, the up to date stuff. Ashley Furman, Greg Lenich, Ash always do always here to help you out, girl. You know that. Uh, best guess north or south. Taylor Ta uh, Breeze, wind, some heavy rain. Uh, Demarcus Neal, you're welcome. Here's a look now at Futurecast. You can see Futurecast through. Let's, let's do 11 o'clock through 11 o'clock. There we go. You can see heaviest rain, Marion, southwest over towards the four corners. Here's a look at the Euro. Let me show you that. Eagle Lake, Winter Haven, Suha, Christina Welder. Here's a look at the Euro. Euro's got heaviest rain north and west. Uh, you can see lighter amounts along I-4 south and east. The GFS looking like this. There you go. You, GFS is super wet. Uh, Trenton is in the house. Fruitland is in the house. Donna Drew. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate those kind, kind words. All right. A uh, flood threat. There we go. Flood threat. West, central, uh, severe weather risk. Here we go. Pretty much all of central Florida. And we are going to be watching the tornado and flood risk through the early morning hours. All right. Let's get into some of the, the details here now. I'll show you one more time. Future cast, I'm going to break it down with the winds. So here we go. Gilchrist County. Uh, Martinez, appreciate you. Christina McGowan, uh, you're welcome. There we go. Uh, state cost. Thank you for it. Yeah, Jenny, you know, just look. Just trying to help you guys out. Take the stress out of your lives. So there's the heavy rain. Look at that. Three, four, five, six. Right over the heart of the metro areas could be some isolated embedded tornadoes there. In the morning, heavy rain bands could linger on into the afternoon, but we think the severe weather risk, remember, it's the front right quadrant. That's lifting up to the north and the east, so that should begin to help us out. All right, let's do some winds here, shall we? There we go. Uh, there's your there's your future cast winds. Uh, you see, sort of soft 50 there, 2.30 in the morning. Ocala, 50. 51, 52, 530 in the morning. Metro areas almost at 40. 40 there at Palm Coast. 40 in Leesburg. This is 11 o'clock in the morning. Now the winds begin to taper on down mid to late afternoon as that core and that storm begin to lift back to the north and the east. And then we get back to normalcy there uh, as we get you into uh, uh, next week. All right, Kissimmee. Kissimmee is going to be the morning hours. Uh, have some folks in from southeast Georgia, so they want to know what's going on there. There it is. There's Savannah. Strong gusty winds. I could be right over Savannah there for an extended stay, producing some significant rain. So that's one of the things you're going to be watching. All right. Somebody want to know about that next wave? Roberto Bonini is in the house. There's our wave. There is the track 
uh, mid to late week. Could be something in the Caribbean, then into the southwestern Gulf. All right, let's do some county by counties. Uh, Roberto, good to have you in the house there, my friend. Always appreciate you. Hope you get some sleep tonight. I'm out. Have a great night. Lori Crozier, uh, right back at you. Um, I, I get out of here at 2. So there it is. Marion, Sumter, and Lake. Worst weather now through Monday. Winds 35, 45. Could be some gusts 55 in Marion. Rainfall 2 to 5 additional inches of rain. We're watching that tornado threat uh, through noon tomorrow. Uh, Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties. Right there along the I-4 quarter, Sanford, Orlando, Kissimmee. Worst weather now uh, now through Monday at uh, noonish. You can see winds 25, 35. Could be some gusts in some of those squalls right around 45 miles an hour. Uh, Live Oak getting in on the rain for sure after midnight uh, through uh, the morning. We do carry. We still need to worry about tornadoes in Lakeland through 6 a.m. Through 6 a.m. There we go. Uh, here's Debbie. Hurricane Debbie here. Uh, worst weather now through Monday, 12 p.m. Uh, winds 25, 35, gusts to 50, especially in northern uh, Volusia and Flagler County with that storm going by just to the northwest. And uh, rain, 1 to 3 south, uh, excuse me, 1 to 3 plus north, 1 to 2 down to the south. Let's take a look now at the seven-day forecast. You can see it getting back to some sort of normalcy there and once we get into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, June nearest. Torres, you're welcome. Uh, can this turn into a hurricane? Uh, Joe, I, I don't, it, it have to sit there for a while. Uh, so, yeah, it's a possibility. Is that going to happen? And the models are kind of all over the place uh, with that. Misty, Diane Smith, Dory, good night to you. Uh, you are welcome. All right, I'm going to wrap it up one more time here. I'm going to show you the, 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 the radar loop and then. Uh, I'm going to get back to making some updates here with uh, Marquise and Cam. Uh, but just wanted to give you just a little bit of perspective. There's, there's our eye. A little bit of a wobble. Nice banding there on the eastern side. You know, one of the things that we've been watching are the winds. You can see that eye trying to consolidate, trying to wrap around. And uh, it's, it's running out of real estate here to, to, to get stronger. But, well, you know, we'll watch the trends. Might get a little bit stronger. There's your eye now. Almost almost due west of the villages uh, by a good bit, but there's the there's the eye right up there, due west of the villages. So from here to to landfall, if you take the the center point and you go to there, you know, it's only about, what is that, 66 miles. So, and at 12 miles now, that's six hours. So that's, you know, is that 630? Somewhere right around there? And that's exactly pretty much spot on with what the uh, the Hurricane Center has on their, you know, 11 o'clock uh, update from tonight. They have 8 a.m. There you go. Tammy, you're welcome. Putnam County's in the house. A lot of rain coming your way. Uh, let's hope it, it gets weak. And Shante, I think it's going to just kind of maintain itself is what I think it's going to do. All right, last look at the radar. Then I'm going to make some updates here uh, with Cam. Xmas calls, yeah. <laughs> Melody, nice. All right, there's, there's the eye. Multiple flood uh, warnings now on the west coast of central Florida there. Uh, the eye is, is, is squeaking northward and is uh, closing in uh, on somewhere east of the Big Bend. If you take this verbatim uh, and go due north, let's just say you went due north. Okay, there's your... 68, 68, and you've got forward speed still at about 12 miles an hour. May slow down a little bit towards daybreak. Uh, Steph, there's going to be rain, some wind, and and as it's crossing right over the north, there is the opportunity still, I believe, uh, for some uh, uh, some severe weather, whether it's a severe thunderstorm or uh, even the risk for an isolated tornado. So you're not out of the woods severe weather-wise yet. I'd say. After 6 or 7 o'clock, um, we're going to be in better shape. So there you go. All right, so that's it. I'm going to take a break from this right now and start making some updates. You guys are an awesome group. Of course, we'll be here throughout the night and throughout the, uh, the day tomorrow to keep uh, everybody up to speed with what's going on. You guys get some sleep, and 
I won't be too far behind you now, me and Cam and, and Marquise. Anyway, have a great night. And uh, as always, if, uh, if you got any questions for us, just uh, send them right there on the feed, and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them for you guys. All right, see you.